Welcome to Books on Air, the podcast that tells the story behind the book. It includes insights from authors about how they compose their work, what inspires them, and what they hope you'll take away from their book. Here's your host for this episode of Books on Air, Suzanne Harris. Welcome to the Books on Air podcast. I'm Sloan Fremont filling in for Suzanne Harris. This is a podcast where listeners get the secret story behind every book. Joining me today is Kathleen Olson, author of the book, Shadow Journeys. This is a book of adventure and mystery, and Kathleen is going to tell us all about it. Kathleen, welcome to the show. Well, thank you very much. Well, I'm glad you're here. I'm looking forward to hearing about your book. So why don't we start out a little bit by telling the audience a little bit about yourself and your book, Shadow Journeys. Well, I don't know what exactly what uh, you want to hear about me, except I like to write books. I love to write, period. And I've always had a great interest in history. So this is a chance to get the two together. Okay, amazing. So can you set the scene for us and tell us where the story takes place? Story takes place in the Chicago area. Mm -hmm. And uh, there is a lady by the name of Jen Markoff. And she has had violent headaches for years. Mm -hmm. And this is the point where they get so bad she's hospitalized. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so in the in can you is, is Jen the main character then is there other yes. characters that are that are in the book that are involved she's the main character and <clears throat> the uh the headaches turn out to be people who she was in a previous life oh are trying to come back and get her to complete something that they weren't able to do or do something or say something okay okay of course that's unknown to her she has no idea what they're about yeah so how did this story idea come to you I have a friend who is a hypnotherapist mm -hmm. and I went to him originally to quit smoking and that was 35 years ago so I think it worked oh wow yeah <laughs> <laughs> and uh he was quite interested in past life regression and we had a lot of story. We had a lot of, uh, uh, time to talk about it. And, uh, I was actually hypnotized to go back to my own previous life. Oh, wow. It didn't work very well, but I did know that I was a 10 year old girl in 1860. Uh -huh. That's all that came out of it. Oh, Wow. I, I did that once in the past too. And I was, as you were talking, I was trying to remember what came out of mine. And I think I had a similar experience where I didn't really get much that I could um, really understand, but um, okay. So you, you got the story idea from, from having this experience with the hypnotherapist. And obviously, as you said, um, it, it allowed you to quit smoking and here you are still 35 late, years later. Um, so tell us maybe a little bit more about the writing process and maybe what was some of your favorite parts that you got to write about in the book or what, um, you know, what you really enjoyed during that process. Well, I enjoyed each one of the characters that she was, and I can't really say that I had a favorite, mm -hmm. but, um, I wrote sadly about a woman who was caught in the Holocaust. Mm -hmm. I wrote about an American, uh, Native American. I wrote about, uh, oh, a very little known and should have been known person who was involved in the Lincoln conspiracy. Oh, okay. Uh huh. So I had a lot to study and uh, make sure everything my, my I's were dotted and my T's were crossed. And, right. Yeah. And I had to look up languages. I didn't know that the Cherokee had such an interesting language. So I have that in the book too. Okay. Yes. Um, and so if you were describing themes for your book, what would you, what would come to mind for you? Ooh. If I were describing the Holocaust victim, I would mainly be cold. Mm -hmm. I tried to get across the uh, idea that, that she was cold all the time. And that's one of Jen's problems was she was cold all the time. She was so afraid of cold. Oh, okay. 
Okay. Interesting. Yeah. <laughs> and so when you're, when you're, and I know you've written many books, as you said, and, and you love doing that. So this process for this book, was there anything that stood out to you that surprised you about writing it? Uh, I'm surprised that I came up with the right characters. <laughs> that sounds silly, silly, but I did. Um, even, even Jen's grandfather was an interesting Mm-hmm. Uh, person yeah because you're weaving all these characters into one person's story so I, I there's a lot of in and out I would imagine that you had to coordinate and um, pull together for all the characters in the middle of the book she marries and has a grand uh, a stepdaughter mm-hmm. which she adopted and this little girl named Hannah was one of those girls who just said everything to to Jen. She just loved her, and she cuddled in bed with her, and you know she was just one of those great kids who mm-hmm. turned bad mm. when she got into puberty. Oh, so uh-huh. we had a we had a real uh, not fight, but a real um, uh, change of mind change of venue change of everything when Hannah went through this Uh uh-huh yeah and so that part that writing that and and being able to express that again and weaving all the the characters because the past life regression is very interesting to me as I mentioned and I've tried it as well and and being able to um understand that and then also weaving that into a story, I, I think as a reader that gives you like so much um, imagination or creativity about your own past life experiences. It's that, that's very interesting to, to me at least. <laughs> yeah, it was an interesting uh, premise. And if you know anything about hypnosis, uh, a lot of people think that when you're hypnotized, you are made to do something. You yeah. have to do it. That's not true. I mean, he could have taught me how to ro- how to rob a bank. Yeah, but I wouldn't do it if I didn't want to. Right. But if if I did, boy, I'd be good at it. <laughs> right, because it it goes into that subconscious that those parts of you that I mean, I'm I'm paraphrasing here. So if I get this wrong, <laughs> please correct me. But it's it in hypnosis, you're going into that subconscious part of yourself that um, maybe your conscious hasn't identified yet. Would that be an accurate way to describe it? Absolutely. Yeah. That's very close. Yeah. Um, myself, I've been hypnotized a couple hundred times mm-hmm. just because uh, I had a lot of things I needed straightened out and yeah. I figured this was the best way to do it. Yeah. And so you definitely had the experience to pull from in writing this book then too, from all your experiences. That's right. Yeah. So what would you say was the most difficult part to write about in the book? I'd say the end Mm -hmm. because all the uh, characters had to come together. Yeah. And when they did, that meant I was done and I didn't want to to be done. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Any good story. You always hate to see end because you just wanted to keep going and you want to know what they go on. I want to know more about what happened to her. Right. Exactly. Um, For, for the listeners, who would you say your book would appeal to and why? It probably appealed to any adult, um, anyone who is interested in the unknown and trying to put it together with what people are really. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I think that's a, you know, a question that (laughs) under the surface is on probably most everyone's mind because everybody wants to know about the unknown yeah Mm -hmm. and jen finds out and she gets to know all these characters and uh has empathy with every single one of them in fact she names her daughter after one of them ah wow interesting yeah 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 well it sounds like an amazing book an amazing topic of hypnosis and and being able to um tap into those, those other, that unknown, as you just said, that unknown that, um, is, 
is available, um, but most don't know how to tap in there. So that's your story sounds very, um, very intriguing as we're talking about it. <laughs> oh, I was intrigued to write it. Yeah. I think it, because I was so familiar with past life regression, I just wanted to do something with it. And what, mm -hmm. what better thing to do than to let other people know that it happens and what about it? Yeah. And so do your stories come from personal experience that you, you want to write about, or does your, does it come to you in another way? Well, let's put it this way. One of, one of the, uh, uh, characters that she was came from 1361 mm -hmm. and I would have no, no, uh, what do you call it? Um, uh, like no way to know about that. No way to know about him or anything. It just took plain research. Yeah, yeah, and so researching that that um, and understanding that to be able to write about it. And again, as we've talked about, you, you're tying all that into a story to weave it in, um, weave it in and out of a story. Yeah, that's the same with uh, uh, Mary, who was the person involved in the Lincoln conspiracy. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I couldn't possibly have known her uh, or known anyone like her. She was so unique. And there's been so much debate all for years about was she, was she guilty or was she an innocent bystander or what? Mm -hmm. And I brought her out as being innocent because I think I, after all my research, I believe that she was an innocent bystander. And the hunt for Mary to help her went from the Chicago area to Washington, D.C., to Montreal. Mm -hmm. And it, that was quite an adventure for Jen when she's trying to manage babies and this rebellious Hannah and the poor girl. She was just all the time, all the time, just tied up with these characters mm -hmm. yeah and then trying to live her life it sounds like on top of that <laughs> it sounds like my life <laughs> <laughs> um before we close out today is there anything else you want to leave the listeners with about your book shadow journeys any final thoughts um it's just that if you pick it up be prepared to be there for a while because mm -hmm. it's a page turner and you'll get sucked in. <laughs> yes, you will. What happened to the to Mary? What about Hakan? What about this person, that person? Right. Mm -hmm. You know, right? Those are the best when they're page turners and you can't put them down, and you read them in you know a day or two, and then you want more, like you talked about. <laughs> <laughs> well, Kathleen, it's been so great to talk to you today and learn about your book Shadow Journeys. I want to thank you for joining us. Thank you. You can find more about the book Shadow Journeys on Amazon, and I'll link to the book in the show notes, so be sure to check that out. You've been listening to the Books on Air podcast brought to you on webtalkradio.net. You can also hear this podcast on Spotify, iHeartRadio, Stitcher, and Apple Podcasts. I'm Sloan Fremont, and I hope you'll join us for the next Books on Air podcast. Remember, you never know who's going to be here, and you never know what we're going to talk about. Thank you so much for listening. <laughs>